Hi, I'm Brandy, and in this video, I will be walking you through your new fitness digital planner. I'll be going over the very basics of the planner in case you're totally new to digital planning, but I'll also be giving you other tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your planner and how you can use the different page inserts, the different sections, and the digital stickers. I'm going to be showing you how to use this planner in GoodNotes, but most of these concepts will still be the same in any app that you're using. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over the basics of how digital planner works and how everything is hyperlinked. So all these tabs up here and on the sides are all hyperlinked to the section cover page or just that page. And um, hyperlinking just means that when you tap on the hyperlink, it'll take you to that corresponding page. So one really important thing to note is that if you're new to GoodNotes, how you tap on the hyperlinks in GoodNotes is you have to go into read only mode first. And to do that, all you have to do is come up here to the top right corner and tap the icon that looks like the pencil with a line through it. So you just tap that and now you're in read only mode and you can tap on the hyperlinks. So if you just tap on a tab, it goes to that cover page on a month, it goes to that month and so on and so forth. So first I want to show you how you can copy and paste page inserts because as I go through, I want to show you different ways that you can use the sections and pages and I just want to make sure that um, you know how to copy and paste the pages whenever I reference doing that so you're not totally lost. Um, so there are tons of page inserts included with this planner and each time you want to use one, no matter what page it is or where you want to put it, you'll either want to copy and paste it or duplicate it um, because you're always going to want to have a clean copy to use um, whenever you want to use it in the future. So to copy a page, all you have to do is, let's just go to a, a random page insert uh, for this. So to copy the page, you go to the top right corner and tap on the three dots, select copy page, and now the page is copied. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go to the page where you want this copied page to be pasted after. So let's just go to a random tab and say we want that copied page to be pasted after this page. So we just come up to the thumbnail view, which is the four squares, and you would tap on the down arrow on the page that you want the uh, page to be pasted after. So you tap the down arrow, add page after, and then paste page. And now that page is pasted there, and if you wanna duplicate it, say you want more than one of these, you can uh, tap the down arrow and then just tap duplicate and you can do that over and over for however many pages you want of that page. So now let's go over the different sections at the top here. So these are just different sections for you to organize your page inserts by to keep everything organized. And then these one through five sections are custom sections for you to create for whatever you need, whether it's um, page inserts or notes. Um, you can just customize your section by putting your page inserts after each cover page. And you would just write in what this cover page is for and what the section's for. So let's go ahead and go to the goals tab. So there's three different page inserts that are included in this section and they're just goal related. So you can either keep them in the section or you can copy and paste them to put somewhere else in your planner, like in one of your custom sections or with a, a planning page. So for instance, let's say that you want one of these weight and measurement goals to be with a specific month. Say you wanna do this page insert at the beginning of each month to sort of keep track of this info. So you would just copy this page and then go to the monthly page you want it after and then just paste it. So that's an example of you can take it out of the goals tab if you want and put it after your month tab to have it organized that way. Or you can just keep it here and duplicate it every time you want to fill this out. There's also these hyperlinks at the bottom of each section cover page. These are hyperlinked to blank note page templates. So if you want to be able to use a blank note page for that section, you can quickly and easily go to it to copy it and paste it into that section. Okay, so next we have the progress tab. So there are these four different progress related page inserts, um, just like the goals. And in the other tab, you can either keep them in this section or copy them and put them elsewhere. So another example is say that you want to have progress photos in a dedicated section. So you could make one of your custom sections for progress photos and you would just come and grab the progress 
photos page insert and insert them in that section. So that's just another quick example of how you can customize your sections and make your fitness planner work for you. And then we have the workouts tab. So there are these two different workout trackers and logs. The workout tracker is more for the month. So again, you could either keep it here or maybe stick it after a month page so you have that all with the month and you can keep track of your monthly information that way. And then the workout log is a daily sort of log so you can again keep it here and just keep them duplicating them and have them each day in uh, the workout section or you can just put it with the daily page. So you could put it after this daily page if you want to have a more in-depth log for your workout. Okay, and the nutrition section is a place for you to keep recipes and plan out your meals and make grocery lists, etc. So let's go ahead and look at the recipes page. This is a page for you to keep your favorite recipes. So you would just put the recipe name on the line and then this little arrow is hyperlinked to a corresponding recipe page. So then you can fill out the recipe and have all of your favorite and most made recipes um, stored in this section. And then we have all these other nutrition related page inserts. So another example of using your custom sections is you could use it for meal planning. So instead of keeping all of your meal planning pages in this section, you could make a dedicated section uh, specifically for meal planning. And lastly, we have the wellness tab. This is just a way for you to track your sleep, your mood, and medications and supplements. Um, there's those three page inserts available for you. Okay, now let's move on to the actual planning pages in this planner and how they're all hyperlinked together. So on the month page, you have your week hyperlinks over here. So you would just tap on that and it goes to that corresponding week page. And then if you see up here, this has a monthly review hyperlink. So if you tap that, it goes to January's monthly review. So you can fill this out at the end of the month. So let's go back to the weekly page. The weekly page has hyperlinks to the day pages. You would just write in the date um, for those for that week and then tap on the circle and it takes you to that corresponding daily page. And then if you see up here, this view week is hyperlinked back to that weekly page. Okay, so that wraps up all the basics of the planner and digital planning in general. So now I want to show you some more specific tips in GoodNotes. So this will be especially good to watch if you're new to GoodNotes. Okay, so first I want to show you how you can use the text tool in GoodNotes instead of having to handwrite everything. So you would just tap on the text tool and you see over here are all these styles for the text. So your font, your font size, the alignment, the color, uh, the text box, color and then you can save that as a default so let, let me change something here and then you can tap on that and say save as default and it'll save the font size alignment color all that as the default styles for whenever you use the text tool so that's good if you know you're going to be using the text tool a lot and you always want it to have the same style so to use this, you would just tap anywhere on the page and a cool newer feature in GoodNotes is that you don't have to use a keyboard to type. Uh, you can just write what you want in the text box wherever you want on, on the page and it'll populate the text box. So let's say that we want this section to be for progress photos. So you would just write progress photos and it populates the text box with that text and then you can move it with your finger. Um, you won't want to move it with your stylus or it'll just try to write in it. It won't move it. So you want to move it with your finger and then you would just tap out of it um, to deselect it. But if you want to edit it, say you want to change the color or the size, you would just tap on it, edit, and then tap until it's all selected and you can increase the size. And you see that it went to two lines to make it one line again you just pull this out with your finger and then you can change the text color as well and just tap out and you have your text and then another way you can move the text or resize it is just by using the lasso tool and then tap on it again to make sure text boxes is on circle it tap and hold resize and you can resize it and move it around and you're good to go. 
Okay, next I want to show you how you can set your pin color or text color to match the colors in your planner. So if you go to the info tab, you will see I have the hex codes here that are used in the planner. So all you have to do is grab the lasso tool and select the hex code that you want to use, hit copy, and then either use your pen tool or your text tool depending on what preset you want to make. So let's do pen tool and then you just tap on one of the colors and you would click custom and then just paste the hex code in the hex box. And then you would want to add that to your presets and now your color is there ready to use and you can do that for all these colors and then if you want the same color presets for text you would just do that in the text tool. Okay, so now let's look at the digital stickers that are included with this planner. I include them as a GoodNotes sticker book file, a Noteshelf sticker book file, and individual PNGs if you use any other app. A sticker book file is just a separate file that has all the digital stickers pre-inserted, so you can easily open the file and copy and paste the stickers that you want, so you don't have to import them from your camera roll or anything like that. It's a very uh, quick and convenient way to use your digital stickers. So the GoodNotes and NoteShelf sticker book files are native files to those respective apps. So you can only use the GoodNotes sticker book in GoodNotes and NoteShelf sticker book in NoteShelf. So now I'm gonna show you how you can use the GoodNotes sticker book um, and how you can copy and paste the stickers. You would just wanna open your file and then you would just go to the sticker that you wanna copy. And uh, these tabs up here are hyperlinked to the start of that section. So let's say I want one of these sticky notes I would grab the lasso tool and then make sure images is turned on and then just circle on top of the sticker you want, tap and hold, copy, and then come back to your planner, go to the page that you want the sticker, tap and hold, paste, and then you can resize it, move it around, and then just tap out. And if you wanna move it again or resize it, just circle it again, tap and hold, resize, and you can do that. And then you can also write on top of the stickers. So you would wanna make sure that your sticker is pasted first, and then you would just grab the pen tool or the text tool, and you can write on top of the sticker. You can also move around the writing on top of the sticker together, or if you just turn off images or handwriting, whichever one you wanna uh, exclude. So let's turn off images then I'd only move the handwriting. Okay, that wraps up this tutorial on how to use your new fitness digital planner. I hope it helped answer any questions that you might have had, but if you still need help, just send me a message on Etsy and I'd be more than happy to help. Happy planning.